On this, everybody should have done that, but I'm the only one that didn't do it. You know, it's just the way it is, you know. I know you don't train MMA fighters, but in stand-up terms, uh, Freddie stated that he felt it couldn't be too late to change her. It might be over her career, you know, MMA-wise. Well, know. she, you know, she's already made a lot of money, and she's, uh, she, she also does movies, so... Why would she want to fight again, man? She doesn't have to fight. She already got paid for this fight. She's been getting paid in her previous fights, and she's been making movies. You know, she could be a model. There's so many things that she could do. Why why even risk her health or her life in, in boxing? She should just, uh, in, M in MMA, you know, she should she should just focus on other things. You know, she, she's already ha she already has the money maybe to, to be comfortable the rest of her life. So, you know, why even try? I don't, I don't think that's necessary. They love her. That's the way it is, man. That's the way it is, and it's always been like that, you know. Uh, we have uh, we have fighters, you know, that that are great when they're champion, but then they lose one, and everybody everybody is is, is talking bad about them. It's, it's always been like that. They talk bad about the trainer, the fighter, the trainer, the team. It's always gonna be like that. Robert, your uh, your brother was out for two and a half years fighting a contract dispute. Why do you think that was important for him to stick up for himself, and not just for him, but for all fighters who sometimes get themselves in a contract that they can't get out of or they're being taken advantage? Look, when when a fighter when a fighter is, is put on hold like Mikey was, and 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 uh, and there's no way you you could get away out of your contract. Some most of the times, fighters they have to they, you know they, they're gonna starve. Because that's the only income they have. So what happens six months later? They need a fight. They need money. So they go back to the problem. Okay, now I got to fight. So pretty much I'm in your hands. But, you know, what, what I admire of Mikey, you know, is that even though he went through two and a half years of not fighting, not getting any income from, from fights, it, it was hard. It was frustrating for myself, for my dad. But we, 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 uh, we admire his decision to say, no, I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to go all the way, you know. A year after he was, um, he, he he got into his uh, into that that legal problems with with top rank. There was some good offers for him from from top rank themselves that I received through emails. And I went to Mike. And Mike's like, nah, it's already it's already been too long. You know, offers that we sh could have said yes, but Mike said, no, I'm already too too deep into this. I'm gonna go all the way. So we gotta admire that. You know, you know, lucky enough. You know, when Mikey. When Mikey uh, became champion, you know, he invested his money right. He didn't spend it crazy. He bought a few properties. So he was able to, to get a little income uh, uh, for the two and a half years. But, uh, you know, you got you to gotta admire that. And, you know, very few fighters could do that. Mikey went all the way, and he showed the boxing world that, that it's possible, that, you know, we can't let uh, one promoter just eat you up like that, you know. You have to, you have to, you know, they're the ones fighting, they're the ones risking their lives. So, uh, so they, you know, they got to, you know, Mikey looked up to himself and now he's in a good position. He's only 29, he just turned 29 last month, so so he's got quite a few years left. Do you think he pulled out this career by taking that break? Because, I mean, we see that a lot of fighters, you know, you think, oh, wow, it's the prime that he's missing out on. Yeah, but he's keeping that miles for later. I think, I think with Mikey, it's sort of the opposite. I think with Mikey, we, we have Mikey for, for, for a lot more years than before. Before. I I know Mikey very well, and and I said it before he even said it. I know that if Mikey would continue fighting and would have been making, you know, because he would have been making really good money on HBO and 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 pay per view fights, stuff like that. Mikey by 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 now, Mikey would probably already be retired. So now for those two and a half years that he took off, that gave Mikey more like a need to to do it, a little more hunger. He uh, he he's got bigger plans now at 135 140 eventually even 147 he he's got challenges where before he didn't have them the fights were just too easy for him you know for he never you know he won two titles and after the fights he never even celebrated he wasn't even happy he wasn't even he never even had a smile on his face because for him it was just like too easy now he's got challenges at 135 140 like i said eventually 147 so now i think we have mikey for a longer time and he looks, you know, some fighters don't look good as they thicken out and they old, they get older over time and they move up in weight, but he's actually looking stronger. He looks like he's really going to be able to fill out until the 135, 140. Look, I'm telling you, and 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 uh, and I'm not, uh, and 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 I don't, I don't, we don't need to come into, you know, names because because, uh, you know, I, like 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 people were asking me, who'd you have sparring uh, Abner against Square? I said, there's no need to tell everybody. It's just my own guys, our own guys that I know how to work. And same thing with Mikey. You know, I got I got uh, I got a couple of guys that uh, that are that are fighting at at Walter Wade or, or Junior Walter Wade, and they tell me uh, after sparring because they they spar middleweight, they spar 154 pounds, and they tell me, man, Mikey's got the power 
bigger than all, you know, more power than all the Walter weights in my gym. And I have a lot of Walter weights, a lot of 154 pounders, especially my Eastern European guys. They're strong, they're big, but they are, all, all these guys that are sparring Mikey tell me that Mikey hits harder than all of those guys. So, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty amazing that Mikey moving up in weight, he's bringing that power and even more power than he had before. So it's interesting.